Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Here's a sneak peek of what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making this fun swirl design petri dish resin coaster. So let's jump in and get started. I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera just to save time. I'm using the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how to mix your resin, I will link my Milky Way Coaster tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. I show you step-by-step -step how to mix your resin. So I'm going to be using these alcohol inks from Dryer Days Art, Stu Art Studio in Prussian Blue and Vivid Purple, and I'm going to be using Pinata by Blanco Blanco. That's the white, and you want to make sure you shake up the white really well before you use it. And I just added enough resin to cover the bottom of this mold. I had clear resin in the mold before I started dropping my inks. And now I'm going to go in with some Interference Blue by Color Passion from Laura's Art Corner. It's a really gorgeous Interference Blue color. It's got just like a subtle hint of blue, and it's super sparkly. I'm just adding some little dollops and kind of little swirls of the interference blue and I'm going to take my finger now and just do like a little swirl design and that's it. I'm going to cover it up with an upside down storage container, let it dry and here we are the next day. I'm going to go in with some champagne twinkle glitter from Laura's Art Corner as well. It's one of her new glitters. It's a gorgeous uh, super sparkly gold glitter and I'm just filling up the mold the rest of the way with that champagne twinkle glitter and that's it I hit it with my heat gun on low to pop bubbles I'm going to cover it up again and let it dry for 24 hours and here we are ready to demold it you can see how sparkly that glitter is. I was so excited to see how this one turned out. This is such an easy project and it turned out really nice as well. The blue interference mica powder is just so pretty in there. The camera just wasn't really picking up how gorgeous it is, but you can see just a subtle hint of sparkly blue in there with the alcohol inks and the champagne twinkle worked really nice, or the champagne twinkle glitter worked really nice with these colors as well. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be sure to link Dryer Days Art Studio and Laura's Art Corner down below in the description box where you can get all the products I used in today's video. I have coupon codes for both of their shops. So if you guys want to get any of these products to try, you can get a little bit of extra savings. Let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Let me know if you have any questions as well. And please go check out a few more of my other videos. I'll leave a few of my favorites right here at the end card screen. Just click the picture and it'll take you straight to the video and you can go check it out. That really helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I will see you guys soon for another video. I hope you're all doing fantastic. Bye guys.